Hi guys. I haven't done a video in so long. It's strange to do one again. Um, I have a couple of wigs that I want to review. One that I've shown before. It's actually the first wig that I ever wore publicly that I started wearing when I was wearing wigs. And it is Angled Cut Wig by Hairdo. And it's in SS 1488H. Is that what that says? I'm 1488H, yes, so hairdo. So I've worn this one before and I've never got a video on it, but that was um, showing a wig that I'd worn many times before. So I'll uh, wear this one again. That might be a separate video. Um, and also hairdo in the wispy cut wig, which is also in Rooted Golden Wheat SS 1488. Sorry, I didn't have my glasses on, so I can't see. So. So, this one is new to me, and I've only seen, I could be wrong, but I've only seen a review done by Cindy in Oklahoma, and I think she did two reviews in two different colors, and my memory is failing me now a little bit because I, I think she might have done this color. I know she did a gray, but anyway, now I'm going to do it, and ooh, there's my wig cap, and... This is, all I've done is look at it like this. I've not taken it out of the box yet, so this is an unboxing. And so it comes like that. I'm sorry, I've got, I'm going to, I'll either finish this video, <clears throat> excuse me, or do a second part to it where it's daylight. I just, I have not, I've been wanting to do this for two, three weeks now. And just the weekends have not worked out for me. And now that it's dark in the evening, this is the kind of lighting I get. I mean, I've got, I could take that off. I don't know if that's better. I'll do a little bit like this when I've got it on and then I'll turn the light back on again. So anyway, there is Wispy Cut. It looks really cute in the photo, but of course it's on a gorgeous model. So we'll have to see. And I'm debating on wearing, one of, like maybe one of my old ones. I've been thinking about wearing a wig to an upcoming office Christmas dinner, but um, I'm a little apprehensive about it because this is my hair I've been wearing lately. I've been doing this and pulled up in a bun uh, in another one of my, not recent, but one of my last videos where it showed that I have it in a bun. I, I wear it like that to work now and I have since, oh, there's forest. I have since, um, God, I guess spring, Easter time, April, and I really haven't worn a wig since then. I tried on a couple in August when I was with a dear friend on vacation. Hi, Jimmy. And, um, and that was fun. And it, the fun thing about that, though, was uh, when I looked at one of them in the mirror when I had it on, I it just made me feel crappy about my hair. And I'm, I'm trying to just wear my own hair because I feel fortunate that I've got this much of it. It's not perfect hair. It's thin. It's got a high forehead and, you know, just wispy little hair. But I figure while I can wear my own hair, I'd like to wear it. So, rambling again, sorry. That's where my apprehension comes is I'm, I'm not too nervous about wearing a wig in front of my people at my office. There's a few new people, but most people, you know, have seen me wearing wigs. That's how they've known me for the past few years is wearing wigs. So, it's not like they don't know I've worn wigs or it'll be a, a out of the ordinary completely, but what I'm worried about is that this will look better than my own hair. Um, I'd rather I'd rather people say like, oh, I like your own hair better, that would be great, but uh, this is going to look nicer and healthier than my own hair, and it's blonder. I've been afraid to highlight mine because I don't want it to to get more damaged. It's so fine and easily breaking. Um, or they'll say, well, why don't you just cut your own hair like this? Because people who have good hair don't really get that these bangs don't come from this. You know? So, so um, that's my apprehension as to whether I will wear a wig, but it would be so easy and I would feel so much more dressed up if I put a wig on. So, anyway, back to this wig 
and uh, trying not to make this half an hour long here. It's a regular open cap. Um, there's extended nape. There's no moleskin at the nape, but it does have the Velcro tabs here, which I love. That's that's my personal preference. It doesn't mean it's the best, just what I prefer. It does have a nice amount of moleskin at the front, and you can see the rooting and the pretty blonde, and it is, uh, I'm not, I can't remember how they refer to it with the hairdo brand, but heat defiant, heat resistant, uh, heat friendly. And so the fiber is more natural in the way that it reflects light. And this is shinier because it's healthier and mine's broken a lot. So, but you get what I mean. And that's wonderful, especially at night, but anywhere, I mean, digital cameras, anyone with a flash, if you're going to be in photos with a synthetic wig, this is your best bet, I have found. Uh, otherwise, the other ones, especially if they're newer, unless you've worn them down or put some uh, dry shampoo in them, which helps, uh, you get a reflection off, bouncing off your hair. This super shiny in photos, especially digital with flash in regular synthetic wigs. Uh, but this would be a more natural look. So I'm going to try it on. This is my favorite part when I have this on. So, good enough. Tuck that in there. And it's going to shake this out. What is it called again? Wispy cut wig. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I don't remember well, you know what I don't remember exactly how it is in the photo but uh, I'd kind of like to see how it is on me anyway so this kind of went on it's got longer bangs I'll have to do this again in daylight I'm not used to seeing myself this blonde anymore. It's the fiber is so soft right now. All right, so I'm just gonna show it like this. Could definitely have product in it to get some lift. I know there's lift in the uh, photo on the website. She looks like she's, you know, about to walk the run the runway in a wind, windy day. But so. I love the way the cut is. I don't like this on me because I don't know that it's a good style for my shape of face to wear it like this. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to be tucking it behind my ears. I am so not used to seeing myself blonde. I like that it's got this length though, like it's a pixie. And if it got windy outside get some length or I can't I can't play with it and talk at the same time what did I just say um, if it's windy outside it messes it up a little bit so it sort of fixes up if you're getting too uptight about styling it the wind helps it and you can always put a bit of product which I don't want to do right now because I don't know that this is going to end up being mine or selling it to someone who's interested. I do like it when it's quite blonde. I like it when there's a root and you give it a bit of lift, like as opposed to this way when it looks fairly flat. It's pretty, but it looks flat a little bit. So if you lift it and you get Get it so you can see through to the dark roots a little bit. It gives a bit of depth and fun. So yeah, I've turned that light on. Did I say I was turning it on or did I just do it? I think whether I said it or not, it's pretty obvious that I did it, so. That is a cute style, I like it. 
So I've just got some of this in front. I could still, well, that's my own hair showing through. I'll bend the tabs a little bit, which is okay because mine matches the roots. So you can tuck it completely. And I've got it to the side the way that the opposite way that most women wear it. So you can switch your part. See for my face shape, maybe my age, I don't know. I feel like this is just sort of hugs my face too closely to wear it like that. It would look great on, on other people with the right face shape or if that's the style you like it. Just everything suits different people differently. And I, I like it parted on this side. Parted on this side, done and messed up a little bit. And you can do what you want, get those longer sides, get some of that out in front. I'm gonna watch this later and see all these things like, ah, oh, move that little piece or stop messing with that. I always see it after, I don't see it while I'm filming it. Anyway, I've probably been on way too long. Oh my God, this part's been five and a half minutes. I don't even know how long I rambled. I might have to cut some of my yapping off. So I like this as a fun tousled look. But I will try this on again when it's daylight. And uh, so you can see the color better and I'll play around with it a little bit more. So that will be part two of Wispy Cut. And that's it. Have a good night. Thanks for watching if you are. I know I haven't posted anything in ages, but uh, I've got a couple more. I'll post part two and then the angled cut in the same color. Bye.